My name is Andres. I am the clinical psychologist with the Legend Golden Care Foundation. The IR City project conducted in Yola was a success. We started off with school children in a secondary school in the IDP camp in Yola, where we sensitized them on torture. Here we explained to them the meaning of torture, mood of torture, types of torture. We also encouraged them on the need to report cases of torture and also to report instances when their mental health are being challenged by this issue. I won't tell you, say, no matter the time, it is never late. Do you understand? It is never late to get help. It is never late to do the right thing. The school authorities were also impressed with our services as they asserted that these are one of the challenges being faced by these children in their camps. The sensitization that was conducted today will now make the children aware that such scenarios, they have where to lay their complaint if these particular cases are happening within their surroundings or within their families. They will report it and appropriate measures will be taken so that such children will be prevented from such tortures. For day two, we had a general awareness session with some of the inmates in Nigerian Correctional Center, Yola New, where we emphasized on rehabilitation and psychosocial support for torture victims. Indeed, it's a real privilege for us to have uh, an organization like this that will partner with the correctional service. For an inmate to be reformed, you must pass through other skills organization, education, spiritual therapy, psychosocial therapy, and the rest. The inmates also participated in a focus group discussion session to get first-hand accounts of their experience of torture from state actors. These responses will serve as a baseline of foundation for recommendation and implementation of solutions. We say once more, we appreciate and we thank you very much.